Now this set required a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of money put together, but it was only seen on film for a few minutes. I think you'll agree though, audiences definitely got the most bang for their buck. Now we're going to be taking a brief stop on this location, and uh, while we're stopped, you're welcome to stand up and take pictures of this set while I turn things over to Steven Spielberg and production designer Rick Carter. The airplane crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around the vision that Stephen had. He said, yeah, he just sit down and talk about the war of the world. I thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's, it's just something we don't see. You're doing good. You're doing good. Thank you, Russ. I mean, as if you have that. Listen, I should close your eyes, okay? Just kind of close. Come on. Robbie, get in. Get in. As Robbie gets in, it speeds away people as well. So you please take your seats. We'll continue on. Thank you. Now, I've had some problems with this set in the past, particularly the tail section of the airplane off to the left-hand side. That tail section used to have all the markings that you might expect to see on a working commercial jetliner printed on it. However, we had to remove those markings when one day a pilot was flying over top Universal Studios. They looked down and they thought they identified the markings on the tail section. So they called it into their air traffic control and told them that an airplane had just the studio. You can imagine what happened next when all of our security and emergency personnel showed up to our lot just